The NFL playoffs are here. Now, although the game time may have changed for some, Bills, Steelers, looking at you, the storylines all remain the same. The wild card round gets started with Joe Flacco and the Browns taking on CJ Stroud and the Texans. Last time these two matched up in week 16, the Texans were without CJ Stroud as Joe Flacco and Amari Cooper combined for a franchise record 265 passing yards in that 36-22 win. But who would have predicted that when Deshaun Watson went down with a season-ending shoulder injury, that 38-year-old Joe Flacco would return to the NFL in November and have four consecutive games of 300-plus passing yards and five games of two or more touchdowns? The Browns may be seeking their second playoff win since 1999, but for Joe Flacco, against the spread, 5-0 and in wild card round games. Now on the other side of the ball, Miles Garrett and the defense are the top of the league in a number of categories. They've allowed on average eight first downs per game, which is best in the league, and also top of the league in third and fourth down conversions. Although many signs may point to Cleveland winning this one, don't sleep on front runner for offensive rookie of the year, Stroud and the Texans. CJ threw for the second most yards per game and also finished sixth in passer rating this season. Now Stroud and head coach D'Amico Ryans made history in week 18 beating the Colts, becoming the first rookie quarterback and head coach duo to get to the playoffs in their first year since 2012 when ironically enough, Indianapolis did it behind then Andrew Luck and head coach Chuck Pagano. D'Amico Ryans and CJ Stroud also made history becoming the first ever black quarterback and head coach rookie duo to get to the playoffs. This game looks like it could be a coin flip to me, but history has shown that it's very difficult to beat a team back to back within a few weeks. Typically that second game is drastically different from the first and sometimes it's even a blowout. Eagles, I'm looking at you. So I actually had the Texans winning this one. Just my two cents, part two on wildcard round breakdowns coming soon.